Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know how it gets down. You know how it is. You know how it is. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. <sighs> Do your job with a smile, all right? I don't give a shit what you do for a living. I don't give a shit about your degrees, your certifications, your title, whatever it is, your salary. I don't give a fuck what it is. It's all about doing your job with a smile and making somebody's day, doing what you can. You, looking at me, looking at me right now. I don't care what it is you do. I don't care how blue, how people look at it or the way it's perceived or the way people look at you when they, you tell them you did this. I don't give a shit about any of that. Do your job with a smile. Make someone's day and you just never know. When you have that mentality, you just never know the kind of lives you can touch. All right. So past two days, I've had a tuna sub for breakfast. As far as this is today's move, Swiftly thought I'm quoting this. I believe it is April 18th, April 18th, yeah, April 18th, 2024. And for the past two days, all right, not including today, I probably won't get it today because I got up a little earlier this morning and I don't have, you know, I won't, I won't stop at Publix this morning. But past two days, or past two mornings, previous mornings, I stopped at a Publix. And normally when I go to Publix, I usually get the tuna sub, right? I usually get the tuna sub because it fills me up throughout the day. And, you know, somebody like me who wakes up this early, by the time it gets to like 7 7 30 8 o'clock i'm already on some you know i'm already on lunch and shit like that so i usually get the tuna sub it fills me up pretty good i'm not necessarily hungry probably don't get hungry when i do have a tuna sub i don't probably don't really get hungry they're closer to 12 31 so i'm pretty pretty good it fills me up pretty good throughout the day right so anyway <clears throat> two two days ago two two mornings ago i stopped at a public that i don't normally stop at and I got the, I ordered the tuna sub, but normally, so normally how it works is when I get the tuna sub, they have me go grab the tuna from the deli aisle, not the deli aisle, the tuna that they make at the deli aisle. And, you know, they make the sub with that tuna. They have me grab the packet of tuna they normally make it. And this is, you know, I've, I've gotten it at several different Publixes. And, you know, they are, and if you don't know what a Publix is, it's basically the grocery store out here in South Florida, right? So, I normally do that. So this particular Publix that I went to two days ago, they didn't have any tuna in their deli aisle. They, were, they ran out or they didn't make any or whatever the case may be. Now, the lady who was making my sub absolutely made my day. Absolutely made my day. Made this video, just made my day, all right? Because of her mentality, all right? Her mentality, her the way she did her job, how passionate she was in the morning how well she how her people skills were i'm telling you right now i i go to work every i i teach at a school every day and there's you know there's people there who have their doctrine and you know they have these master's degrees and they have their their personality doesn't even compare to how like the way they do their job in terms of just the way you touch people and the way you interact and you know just how much energy positive energy you bring into your job every day they can learn quite a few things from this lady of public so hopefully hopefully they're listening when i when i talk to them and they know exactly who they are so anyway because they didn't have because they didn't have the normal tuna that they normally make the subs with. She had me walk over. She she advised me to go walk over to the seafood deli and say, "Hey, go grab this. Go grab the tuna from the seafood deli, right? Go grab. Go walk over and grab the tuna." Now she would did it herself, but there was some issues with her knee and she couldn't walk over or whatever it was. Whatever. I was like, "Look, I don't mind. I walk over. I walk over." And then before she tells me to walk over, this is what she tells me. She goes, "She goes, look." <clears throat> you're going to like that tuna a whole lot better than what you would have been getting at the, at the deli aisle, right? So I walk over, I get the tuna from the seafood aisle and she has me taste the tuna. It's like real fresh tuna. It wasn't this like watered down shit that they normally have at the, uh, at the deli aisle. It was like real fresh tuna. And she made the tuna sub with the brand new tuna. And I was like, yo, I love this. I love this to the point where the next day I went back and I got the same exact thing with the same kind of tuna. And now from here on out, you know, whenever I order my tuna sub, I'm definitely going to be walking over to the seafood aisle, getting the real fresh made tuna, not the watered down shit that's at the deli aisle. And what she's done without even, again, just because of the way she did her job, her interaction. And, you know, she told me how long she's been working there for 27 years and just the energy and just everything, everything, just people skills in general. Now she gets, she got Publix a repeat customer. All right. 
These are the points. These are the things that I teach a lot. I talk about a lot when it comes to moving swiftly and applying, you know, that innovative teamwork, applying that style, applying that, making it so every single person in the organization feels wanted and feels like they have a role regardless of how they get paid. Again, the person who founded Publix, the person who runs the entire department or is probably the founder of the, the chain of Publix is, will probably never know what this lady did if, it, you know, never probably never know what this lady did, what multiple multiple workers have done for the brand or for the company, but it's on you to treat people a certain way. It's on you to treat people the way that you, again, it goes back to the way we teach us kids, to treat people the way you would want to be treated, all right? And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll close you out with this point in what happened, yeah, because what happened is I came back and I became a repeat customer, and I'll close you out with this point, is when you, when you, have the opportunity to touch someone's life, when you have the opportunity to get a paycheck, when you have the opportunity to do whatever it is you're gonna do, it's on you to do what you can, to do what you can, again, to do what you can to touch somebody and help somebody out throughout that day, all right? That's really, that, that really, I mean, listen, that really is all I have to say today because again, I deal with a lot of people in the, especially in the education world that have this degree that have that degree have some fancy doctrine again and when you're in the thought leadership world like me and when you're in the business of actually teaching teachers and teaching coaches a lot of them can feel like they're too good to learn this or they've learned already they, they've learned too much or you can't learn from certain people because they do a certain job again remove all that shit remove all that shit if you're a regular consumer to my work remove all that shit and every single person you meet regardless of their job title regardless of how much they be making regardless of where they work figure out interact with them talk to them and there's always something always something you could pick up from how somebody else is maybe doing their job whether they're doing that job well or they're doing that job very poor all right in fact <laughs> I do have a free ebook. In fact, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll officially close you out with this one. If you go to makeyamove.com, that's the main website to check out to dive deeper into my work, and you click the tab Move Swiftly Speaker, there's a free ebook that's titled How to Create Loyal Employees. You can download it for free. It has tons of examples like the one I just shared today in regards to how you can make it so your staff moves as a cohesive unit how your staff is constantly 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 making people's day and constantly making your company better and building your company when you're not around that it's on makeyamove.com that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e.com it's your one-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs as one crookshank your one and only move swiftly speaker checking out you guys continue to move swiftly we will talk more soon